Liam, aren't you tired of making the same movie over and over and over again? Like, I'm tired of watching them, so I know you have to be tired of making them. You do not need coins this bad. Hey everyone, it's Shrana from Pay Your Weights, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Commuter, which is directed by Jean Colette Serra, who is responsible for movies like Unknown and Nonstop and Orphan, and it stars Liam Neeson, who is basically Michael, an insurance salesman, who is on his normal commute home from work when he runs into a passenger by the name of Joanne, played by Vera Farmiga, and she basically offers him 100000 cash money to find the person that doesn't belong on the train, no questions asked, you find that person, you get your money. And then... From then on, we are taking on a typical Liam Neeson movie that makes no logical sense in the real world, but we're supposed to sit there, watch, and be entertained. So for me, the good of the movie was, it's a suspense movie. I did feel the suspense in the film. It kept my attention the entire time. I don't know if it was for the right reasons, because the entire movie, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this makes no logical sense in the real world. Like, I can't take it. But I'm just going to keep watching to see how outlandish you get with the things that are happening in the film. And for me, the villain played by Vera Farmiga, I liked her. She was a great choice for the film. But I felt as though as the movie continued to go on and she was basically a villain from afar on the phone, I just kind of lost that connection with her. She didn't feel as menacing to me as she was in the beginning of the film. And I just felt like they could have made her presence more well known um, throughout the movie. Also, too, the editing was a huge issue for me. So there's like a few fight scenes in the film and the cuts were so quick. And I was just like, who is who is hitting who? I don't know who's hitting who. I don't know who's stabbing who. I can't see. It's moving too quick. Whoever did the editing, they clearly they were just like, F it. I'm done. They didn't even pay me enough to do what I did so far. And you could tell, like, it just wasn't good. And then the special effects, the CGI with the train, there's a scene with the train, and you're just like, first of all, this scene went, like, 60 seconds way too long. It was so unnecessary. And then the effects were, like, so bad, it just made it look terribly cheesy. And the whole scene just, it wasn't even needed. Like, y'all didn't even need to do that much with the scene. And it's just the the logic of these films. Like, I'm watching this movie, and I'm just like, so you mean to tell me this man had had how many fights on the, on the train? Then, like, they're shooting on the train. Don't, don't nobody hear these gunshots? You guys don't hear anyone shooting on the train? Like, I can't even, I see people, like, get into a verbal, verbal argument, okay, with people, and the train stops, and they got to get off, okay? So you mean to tell me these people fighting, shooting, and nothing everybody just going on about their normal day that makes no sense it made no sense to me whatsoever and that's why i just cannot recommend this movie to anyone i will say wait to see this movie i would say rent it rent it for a good you know good little red box night fire stick it do whatever you need to do i mean if you've seen any of the other liam neeson movies you've seen this one like you can figure it out there is nothing new nothing creative it's like they basically just said like hey we never really put him on a train before. Let's put Liam Neeson on a train so he can use a special set of skills and we'll just call it the commuter. And that's basically what they did, what they did with this movie. It's not a bad movie. It's not a good movie. It's the same movie that you've seen over and over and over again. And I just, it's 2018. We just cannot keep doing this. We cannot keep putting the same movies out. I literally cannot take it anymore. But as always, my name is Sharana from Pay Your Weight. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I will see you soon.